want to set a table setting for indoors or outdoors that has a feeling of world travel, then we'll discuss kind of how to do that today with this group. First off, we have our Calypso dining set. Now, this is a fairly simple design, just a slight swirl pattern, but it's got the gradation of color to it. So that is a good starting point is to start with your china and figure out where you can go from there. Now, since we're using this on our Moorings dining group, this charger plate, which is actually a wood laminate over your normal resin charger, um, that way you've got gra graining different on every piece, but that's a great base to show off the lines and contrast and color of the china. Then the napkin. In this case, I've used the two. I've talked about using two before that actually I prefer having one clean on my lap at all times and the other one that I actually use to wipe with. That way when I lay it back in my lap, I'm not having to worry if there's a sauce or something about getting into my clothing. So this is a great way to show this. You can either offset it so you get it a slight edge or if one napkin is larger than the other, they layer very, very well and then giving sort of a Moroccan feel or um, India type feel is the napkin ring itself which is jeweled and textured and so that in, sets your napkin stage but then when you sit that in the middle of the place setting as I've done it really sets off your napkin and your napkin ring like jewelry rather than if you just lay it to the one side that still looks nice, but it doesn't set it off quite as well as if you lay it across your place setting. So play around with that in your own dining room and your own items. Now then, the placemats themselves, this adds a bit of, of whimsy to it with the multiple size polka dots, but that gives you that punch of color for an otherwise neutral set. And of course, the sort of bark design of the overall background as well. Now, these placemats are dual sided, so the other side matches the napkin. Dual sided placemats are a little more expensive, but that cuts down on storage, and always pay attention to both sides because there may be multiple uses for that. Now the center of our table, in this case, I've kept everything low so it's easy for conversation and for visibility with all of your guests. We have the reclaimed driftwood candlesticks, um, again using the blue to pull that blue color out, and then we have the orbs, of which this is like a duckweed, but it's made into a an orb. These are great for indoors or out. We carry them in a number of foliage designs and a number of sizes. So they're great sitting on small pots, sitting on urns if you want that type of look, or just sitting alone on, all on their own just like orbs. So they have a lot of use also. And then just using this Moroccan type urn in the center again to pull both the gloss from the plates but pull the blue across as well just to give you a lot more interest and then your silverware and you're ready to bring your glassware in and you're good to go. So this is just one more type of setting that you can do, another way to sit things and, and let your mind explore what you can do with your own things as well as add to them from the many things that we have available at Trees and Trends. So I hope you've enjoyed and come to the store and have a blast. Thanks.